because I was working for those other counties. I was a pro professional fee. At that time, I didn't care. I was young and strong, and I uh, just took whatever it was needed to do. That's over $2 million. Well, that's good enough. I, I earned it. Did Travis County's former medical examiner make a financial incentive to increase the number of autopsies? He performed way beyond what's recommended, and that's what we're exploring in a KXAN investigation tonight at 10 o'clock. Dr. Roberto Bayardo served in that position for 28 years before stepping down in 2006. During that time, he examined more than 18,000 bodies. So it is a project nearly a year in the making, and this morning our investigators, Josh Schinkel and David Barrer, are here to take a closer look at this. That's a lot, that number. Yeah, the numbers are where it really matters to the National Association that provides quality and standard for medical examiner's office. They recommend that you don't go over 325 autopsies a year just to make sure that you don't make any mistakes. We know that each year of his entire career, those 28 years, he was doing anywhere between 395 and 823. Wow, and so how did you guys even discover something like this was going on? Uh, well, we went to the medical examiner's office to get an idea of how many uh, autopsies he was doing, and we saw that the only way to do that was to look through these uh, handwritten log books. So uh, I photographed every page and we read hundreds of pages and thousands and thousands of lines of these log books and counted all of the examinations that he did and that's how we figured it out. I mean, he's talking 50,000 autopsies that David went through. It took two months to go through this because this is the only record of the autopsies. And, you know, cases that we've all covered and all heard about here in Central Texas started popping up. He did the autopsy in the Rodney Reed murder trial, the Kathy Lynn Henderson case, the uh, Michael Morton murder case, and, you know, those things are where we're actually seeing him going back on his opinion now. So he's really, really made waves in those cases, and that's kind of what started this whole thing. This is a big deal, and you guys made a special component to the story online as well, right? That's right, Kate. We are calling it Body of Evidence, a medical examiner's missteps. Uh, you can go inside the reporting with uh, David and I, and we walk you through the case files that the, they actually point to this problematic history with the Travis County a medical examiner's office and we interview the medical examiner himself and we have an interactive breakdown of his autopsies and his high profile testimony in court and that's all in the investigative section of kxan.com right now and you know just listening to josh to the interview that you did with him it almost sounds like he's saying what he did was okay you know yeah well you got to watch tonight at 10 to see what he <laughs> has to say um i was surprised when we were doing the interview some of the things that um you know he had to say but uh, He's got an explanation for everything. He does. All right, well, we'll look forward to seeing that. And remember, tonight at 10, we're going to find out how all of that might be tied to money, how he was supplementing his income, pushing the limit behind the walls of the Travis County morgue. So tune in to watch Body Evidence tonight on KXCN News at 10. Guys, thanks. That's a big-time reporting job. We really look forward to seeing that. and we'll be